Mac OS X. It's one of the most well-known, sophisticated operating systems to date. This is one of the biggest changes that occurred after Steve Jobs returned to Apple. No one had ever seen anything like it before, and it was completely different from the classic Mac OS. The Aqua theme introduced a whole new design that was not only beautiful, but it was very intuitive and easy to understand. It also featured the beloved dock, which we all still use. Today, I thought that I would upgrade my iMac to OS X to show what it might have been like when this was new. While this computer did originally ship with OS 9, the later iMacs did run OS 10, so it wouldn't be too strange to see it on a G3. Plus, 10 looks way better with these early 2000 Macs. While I could put the highest compatible versions straight on here, I thought it would be a little more interesting to compare some of the early versions of OS 10 and go through them all, so that's what I'll be doing. Let's start off with OS 10.0 Cheetah, which was released in March 2001. While there was a public beta, this was the first official major release. The new Aqua interface really set it apart from the previous versions of Mac OS. Unfortunately, this version had quite a few bugs, performance issues, and lack of features. However, it was a good start and Apple was heading in the right direction. The setup assistant is pretty much the same in all the versions, and since I'm going to be going through this install five times, I'll be speeding over most of it throughout this video. Next came OS 10.1 Puma. This is the second major release, which came out in September of 2001 and preceded Cheetah. In the box we have the install disk, developer tools, and strangely OS 9. We also have the software agreement, Apple Care, and the welcome guide. This version is pretty similar to 10.0, just with some minor improvements and added features. However, there were still many bugs that needed to be corrected. The installation and intro video is the same as the previous version as well, so I'll just skip to the next one. In 2002, Apple came out with OS 10.2 Jaguar. They added a whole load of new features and upgrades that were previously missing from Puma. In the box we have the install disks, developer tools, and the user documentation. To upgrade, it was pretty much the same process. The intro video is also the same. So what changed in this version? Well, they introduced over 150 new upgrades, including some well-known applications such as iPhoto, iTunes, and iChat. QuickTime 6 was released as well as Sherlock 3, which could now find restaurants and directions to places. Apple was still using Microsoft Internet Explorer at this point, but that was about to change. 2003, OS 10.3 Panther was now available. Inside we have most of the same stuff, except this version had three install disks instead of just one. In my opinion, this is one of the most refined versions released. More features were added, including iDisk, Safari, and even simple things like iCal and Expose. The installation is pretty straightforward as well, but this time with a new intro video. Additionally, Apple ID was now linked with the operating system. Other than that, the installation is the same. Some other cool stuff they added was a faster user switching system, iChat AV for video conferencing, and an upgraded finder that integrated iDisk and color-coded labels. And lastly, OS 10.4 Tiger released in 2005. This is the final release that was compatible with this machine. At the time, Apple claimed that this was the most successful OS release in the company's history. Two of the most significant upgrades is the introduction of Spotlight and Dashboard, which are still present in the current versions of Mac OS. In the box we got the install disks, an iWork 05 trial, and more documents.
there we go, I have a fully updated iMac G3. This version is the last that was supported for PowerPC G3 processors. At this time, Apple was converting to Intel, so this OS had compatibility for many different machines. By 2007, Leopard was then released and marked the end of the early versions of OS X, with many changes that are significantly different from these releases. If you're interested in seeing a video of me going through the newer versions of OS X, be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.